Hey y'all, in 4 h and H here. Uh, just in case you're curious, what a, what a ham's life is like, right? You know, I'm into model railroading too, and the joke in model railroading is, is that your layout is never completed. Well, it's been my experience that there's always a little something to be done at the ham shack too. So, a couple of things. For one, our deck is being rebuilt. And let me show you something here. Uh, these brackets that you see that are holding up my Diamond X50 up there, see that? Those were chimney mounts from my old QTH. And I brought them over and repurposed them to go around the 4x4 four four to hold up this mast here that's two 16-foot sections Bought them at Radio Shack about 30 years ago. I've got one little four and a half foot aluminum one down here just to nudge it up a little bit. Believe it or not, that four and a half feet made a difference. And I've ordered a couple of sections of five foot, this knot aluminum, this uh, steel, because I'll feel better about that. I don't know if you've watched the video where <laughs> the aluminum, I had a few more sections of the aluminum, had it guide and a limb came down from one of the trees over here, hit the guy rope, Dacron, pulled the antenna down. So I'm not, I don't have it guide right now. And I probably won't re-guy it, I'm just gonna put some stiffer uh, support here and maybe go up another five feet, or a little over five feet, I ordered two sections. But uh, anyway, this is about to be switched out. And I'll go over here and show you, I've already switched out for the R5 as part of the deck project. And by the way, look at this. That nice maple tree there has supported my ZS6BKW for years. Look at that ladder line glowing in the sun there. Okay, so let me zoom in. See, there's the, there's the center of it. Well, that tree is dead. So I have a tree surgeon coming over this afternoon to quote taking that down. Now, where will I hang my antenna then? Well, there is a tree behind it that's got limbs extending over. So I'm hoping that uh, maybe, I don't know how he'd do it except with a bucket truck or a scissor lift, but I'm hoping maybe he can get a pulley into the limb above it from the other tree. But that's a side note. I'll shoot a separate video about that project. Uh, let me take you over here. See these? Six by sixes, we're replacing the four by fours with six by sixes. And uh, he's already done the stairs, by the way, the contractor, uh, who's my son-in-law. And uh, we're using Trex. That's not real wood there. We didn't want to have to paint and maintain again. But look at this, six by six. Now this mast, I've got it running all the way to the ground. That's two eight foot sections, just like over there. Look at the new brackets. I got those off Amazon. Maybe I'll put a link in the video description if you're interested in something like that. These brackets worked out great. But as you can see by the spacing, you need a six by six, okay? Now nothing, nothing to say that you couldn't just put a six by six down in the ground and use those two brackets and hold up an antenna with it. Uh, but these, I'm just taking advantage of the corner post here holding up the deck. So, um, and, and we're not replacing the entire deck. You see under there, that, that framing and all was fine. Just replacing the top. And uh, those are Trex boards up there. They haven't been nailed down yet. But there you can see the new brackets that are holding up the, the Cushcraft R5, which is above that TV antenna there. I don't really use that TV antenna anymore. I may take that off. But uh, you can see here some, uh, those are six by sixes that have been put in. Now these four by fours have yet to be done. And this afternoon, we're going to take out these four by fours and especially this one and uh, replace it with two more of those brackets like I just showed you. So there you go, that's my current project that is a combination of uh, deck repair and uh, a little better type of support for the antennas. There you can see the Kushcraft, the top of it there with all the traps. 
and that wire you see up there that's the zs6 bkw so don't don't know how that's that's going to wind up uh that wire is going to go back toward that shed a little bit when this tree is taken down we have to relocate that center point so i hope that tree back there is healthy enough to to support it for years to come i don't know this this tree is just recently died so i don't know how long a maple can stand i'm gonna let the tree surgeon arborist uh figure that out i think this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge to take down so yeah that's the way it is though i guess i'm sort of fortunate though that i have trees to support my antennas. All right, I'll keep you posted on the project. Okay, y'all, uh, so I showed you earlier how it was mounted. Now there's a new six by six in there and that's Dustin, my son-in-law. He's gonna mount that bracket about like he did the one over there for the R5. Let me zoom in on that. See there, right below that brace. Doing the same thing over here. He's gonna make sure it's leveled up. So again, these braces are from uh, Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. So the antenna right now is laying on across the deck. You see the end of it sticking out. And that is an aluminum pole. I'm going to be replacing that with uh, steel. And Dustin just, he used his level to make sure that was leveled up. Okay, so he's just double checking with the level. Looks the bubbles looks good. I'm gonna turn Dustin into an antenna installer. Okay, y'all, the antenna has stood back up and you can see down there how it's mounted in the brackets. That four and a half foot aluminum pole is gonna be replaced by steel. I ordered two five foot steel poles and uh, like Dustin suggested, I may just let both of them go together. That, the deck is 10 feet off the ground, so I may just let the two five-footers go down to the ground. And so that'll be then 26 feet up to the base of the antenna. So, um, and if, if you know anything about VHF, so the deal is you can move up or down six inches and it'll make a difference. And it could be actually good to go down six inches or it could be good to go up six inches. You just have to experiment. But there we go. Remount it. So. Okay, there you go. You can see the finished job there with the brackets, the new brackets in place. And there's the X50A. That's a Diamond X50A dual band base station antenna. Okay, y'all. Hey, uh, it's finished. The... The two meter, 440, two meter, 70 centimeter antenna installation is done. And I got the new, I uh, wanted steel here for this bottom piece and uh, ordered that from Solid Signal. Solid Signal they had the best price and the best shipping charge. I got two of five foot sections of that steel. So I have a spare because um, I'm not going to raise it up any higher than that without putting rope on it, guy rope. I do have places for it, but it seems pretty good right there, especially with the steel support now. I did have a four and a half foot aluminum piece there, and now I've got a five foot steel. And that's pretty heavy steel. So that project is also complete, along with, uh, if you've been keeping up with my other videos, I also had to have trees cut down and have my ZS6BKW and my doublet repositioned. In fact, you can see the wire of the doublet in the background right there. All right, hey, thanks again for watching videos on my channel, and please stand by for a half a minute or so. I want to recognize five of the Patreon team members that I call long haulers. Without them, you wouldn't have seen this video or hundreds of others. They underwrite the cost of doing this, so I don't have to, uh, well, align with any manufacturers, which would then mean that I had to bridle what I say. I like to be real with you guys, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So please uh, hang around and acknowledge these five long hauler Patreon team members for me. And uh, 73 from N4HNH, thanks for watching videos on my channel.